Thing I've noticed above everything, for me personally, has been the, the warmth of the welcome I've received. Everywhere I have gone, um, from every walk of society, every um, uh, denomination of, of faith, um, people have gone out of their way to say welcome to me. And understanding, tolerance, inclusivity, um, those are the principles upon which Britain uh, sets store and which I believe Gibraltar um, demonstrates beyond belief. At the swearing-in ceremony, the Chief Minister um, suggested that Brexit may make some constitutional reform inevitable for Gibraltar. I think that um, uh, there will have to be some constitutional um, review uh, simply because um, the Constitution of 2006 talks quite a lot about the European Union. So there will have to be some um, uh, review of those parts of the Constitution that talk about the European Union when we're not part of the European Union. Um, but I know that the Chief Minister has ambitions to look at the Constitution. The Brexit negotiations have opened up an avenue for looking at how Gibraltar now deals perhaps a little bit more with negotiations across its borders. And what we've seen in the signing of the four MOUs with Spain uh, in the withdrawal process um, has been an, in, an indication of how Gibraltar can develop its international being, in, in dis especially in discussions across the border with Spain. And, um, uh, and those areas may need to be looked at in the future and how we develop that. But matters like defence, um, internal security, and of course foreign policy on the wider stage, um, I think these are huge matters where the United Kingdom is equipped very admirably to, to fight for Gibraltar's cause in a way that Gibraltar might not be able to fight um, uh, on, on its own. How do you manage any tension between what Gibraltar wants and what, what the UK wants? Should they be different? Well, I, I don't think it's for me, Jonathan, to manage that tension. Um, I, I think uh, this is very much a poli political um, and economic uh, question for the people of Gibraltar. And I believe that there will, will be no tension. In fact, there will be a good outcome um, to the negotiations and deliberations. Might get rocky at times, always will get rocky when you have such difficult political judgments to take. But, but I believe that um, the outcome will be good for Gibraltar. If I can ask you about law enforcement, um, if I can take you back again to the um, uh, ceremonial swearing in. Um, the leader of the opposition suggested that the convent had issued a bland statement um, on the retirement of the former commissioner of police uh, and he suggested that that raised questions. Uh, very sensitive issues um, and but allow me to answer it in this way. Uh, commissioner McGrail um, dedicated an, an amazing amount of time and commitment to the Royal Gibraltar Police um, and uh, he is to be applauded on what he and commended on what he delivered for um, for the police force here in Gibraltar. Um, all of us in uniform know that at some time one has to get off the train and 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 let somebody else get on the train and drive that train going forward. And, and I'm afraid it's a natural consequence of uniform life. Uh, and I commend Commissioner McGrail for actually um, recognising that the time had probably come for somebody else to take over the reins and, and hence his decision to retire uh, in the way he did.